Hello, everyone. Welcome to podcast number 184. My name is Dinah. You can find me at The Knitting Place on Instagram, Ravelry, and Facebook. I am Pam Sapp on Instagram. What happened to our bags up there, Dinah? I'm just noticing. They're sold. They're gone. Wow. Uh, I'm Pam Sapp on Instagram, Ravelry, and Pam Sapp ends on Facebook. I have to reload. I'm thinking, all of a sudden, I'm distracted by that now. <laughs> An empty shelf. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you are returning, thank you for tuning in. Please subscribe if you want a notification as to when we, uh, I guess, our podcasts are being published. You'll get a little notification, I think, if you hit the bell. Uh, right? Is that what the subscription is for? Uh, well, you know, it's funny because I, it'll come up that, you know, there's a new podcast, but I don't, I don't, I usually, I don't know if it's because I don't have the sound on my phone. I, I usually don't hear a bell, but maybe it doesn't mean you really hear a bell. Maybe the bell maybe is it's if just you a want notification. notification. Maybe it's just notification. But if you're subscribed, they'll let you know that a new podcast dropped. Correct. Correct. And we try to be really good about it. Like we're podcasting we this I week. We, we won't be able to next week. It's Passover. So I will oh, be closed right. Monday right. and Tuesday of next week, April 22nd. Because it starts Monday night, right? Right. And April 23rd. Right. Uh, I'll reopen. Maybe we'll podcast at the end of the week. The 23rd. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'll we reopen on Thursday do that. and Friday for business hours. Uh, what else did I want to say? I want to let everyone know that I will be closed the following week for Sophie's graduation. And no, it is... I don't think that's the following. It is the following week. Wait a second. May 1st is on a Wednesday. Right. I'm going to be closed. Monday, Tuesday. Second, third. Yep. That's and not I... the second, third. Monday, Tuesday is the 29th, 30th. Right. But the Tuesday, I'm flying to Chicago for the trade show, will you, I believe. Okay. Oh, that I'm I don't know. working don't on know. tickets, so I'll know. let you know. But I know for sure, <laughs> Friday, May 3rd, I'll be closed. Friday, May 3rd. Yes. So, again, another back-to-back, -back and, you know, well, I you, always these end things up happen. For it. These yeah. things happen. Life is, you know, your daughter's graduating. You've got the trade show. Actually, you're lucky that it's at the same time. I don't know because then it, it it creates a bandwidth of time that I will be closed. Yeah, but we can still do we can still do things. Will you help me? Yeah, of course I will. Thank you. <laughs> of course I'll be here. <laughs> Where do I ever go? No, I'll I, be I, here. I hate to lean on you, but no, I might need you to. You can lean on this me. Was... If I'm falling over, I'll tell you. <laughs> no, I'm fine. I'm I, I feel like I'm just catching up. Right. Well, you know what it is. Sometimes everything is like in a wave. Right. You know, it's like a wave. Well, before so the, the wave, next wave was that we were closed for a couple, you know, in and out yep. for different things. And we had the delivery of the Bigs. Say It bags, which I'll show you some new ones because they did arrive. And then we also got the delivery of the heirloom quilt cardigan, which is the Cocon Blue. Isn't from, that the second delivery, though? Yes, but a lot of we people... We already had one. Right, but right. this was the second big wave. This is the second wave. one. Right, so oh, that's good. I, I'm hoping that I'm almost caught up. Speaking of which, I have to pick that thing up. I want to take one of these kids home, so yes, I'm with you. You better. Well, you haven't gotten your I other want, one done. I know. What are you going to do? <laughs> I have to finish that first. <laughs> well, you could start this one. I might you have to. You could start this one. I'm just why obsessed. Not? I mean, I'll why show not? you the kids. Why not? Why not? But we'll get to that in a minute. You want. How have you been, Pam? I'm fine. I'm trying, I'm trying to think what's new. You know, it's funny. At school, we do weekend news. Okay. And you sit in a circle and you pass a ball around and you talk. They say what they did over the weekend and then they go back and they have a weekend news binder and they write it. So the teacher says, oh, Mrs. Sapienza, what did you do this weekend? It's like, what did I do? <laughs> I'm not, the you kids know, go to birthday parties. They play in, in soccer games and, you know. It's funny. That's what we used to do at the dinner table with the kids. Mm -hmm. like, you know, what was what you do? You know, how was your day? What was the high? What was the low of your day? Right. And that's how we created our table conversation. Right. Well, that's a, it's a good thing. It's a thing. great thing. And then you get the kids who um, I don't remember, and I, you know, and they will pass, and and the teachers like, and we're coming back to you. You know, but once and, they hear the other kids open up, well, and again, get, it depends on the kids sometimes. But you know, once the teacher had to say, "Well, I'll just email mom. Mom will, mom will tell me what you did." 
<laughs> but anyway, the, the point is, you know, you, for me, you know, what could I possibly do? So you try to make whatever you did sound interesting, you know. Well, you had the kids. So the I said, or... I said I had a quiet weekend. I said, mm-hmm. but the highlight of my weekend was we we had a play date with the girls and we played ball. We did scootering. scootering. Yeah. And so the teacher was like, well, what does Mrs. Sapienza mean when she says she had a quiet weekend? Does it mean that it was quiet or does it mean it's trying to explain to right. them, obviously, the different meaning? How you could use the word, right? Um, so anyway, but it, it's interesting when we say how was the weekend. My, so my my week was really rather calm. I will say that I have a school vacation coming up. Woo-hoo! It's a very long vacation. How psyched to you? It's Imagine a very all the knitting long... you're going to get done. <laughs> oh, I don't, don't jinx me. The kids you know going what away. Well, you know what Emily told me last night. Don't say anything. Her and Tyler were discussing taking them to Disney for like four days. Oh, and I said, what? Are you crazy? And she said, listen, she said, we really don't do a lot of vacations, which they they don't. don't. They don't. And she said, I feel that like Lucy and Olive are kindergarten and first grade. It's a great age. And as far as the baby goes, she said, it's much easier to take him now than it would be next year when he's walking around and 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 doing things you know and then she's also looking at the time of year the fall is hard because there are a lot of birthdays you know and it's great summer time. is very hot halloween yeah that would be nice that's yeah. a fun I, yeah. my girlfriend barry used well, to take see, the kids the all the time with, well it's not a problem for her it's how she would handle it november 2nd and 3rd are her birthday and olive's birthday which is oh, right they around could halloween celebrate they could disney. celebrate at disney <laughs> It, listen, it's not going to be, be the so last bad? time. It's not going to be the last time she goes no. if she does decide to go. And she has. She has Barbara she has, for tips. She has. Um, they could fly for free because she has points. Beautiful. So the airfare wouldn't wouldn't nice. be anything. But anyway, so um, talking about how that impacts me, she's thinking she would go Wednesday to Monday or Wednesday to Sunday, like that date, come back because the kids are off Monday and Tuesday, okay. so she doesn't have to be back on Sunday. Okay. But so we'll see. I don't. She hadn't booked it yet. She was looking at the. Um, so, how does that impact me? Well, I'd be free part of the time. I'm free the whole time. I can do my daughter. She's really, she's, so she's very easy. You know, yeah. she's like, Mom. It's not like you know, she calls you and says, Come no, babysit. No, you no. go when you please, right. like when it works for you. And exactly. So, she's going to be She's got doing it that. under control. Exactly. I know I do have I a, feel like you push yourself more to help almost because she doesn't ask for the help. Correct. Correct. I feel like, like the kids yesterday, like, I, let took, me go, I, took, right? I took the girls to church. You're proactive and she's not even. And then Olive says to me at church, can we go to brunch? You know, the likes, brunch is the diner. It's the diner, you know. So I said, her, ask, ask grandpa. That's so cute. <laughs> so we took them and it was so exciting because Olive is such a plain eater. You know, she's not an adventurous eater at all. And it so gets my daughter upset. So we get there and she said, because she always has chocolate chip pancakes. Did she try something new? She said, I think, Grandma, I'm going to have chicken tenders and french fries. She said, I'll try something different. Well, (gasps) different, you know, really. But she's probably had it before, but it's different for her for a brunch item. Right, right, right. Which is big. So that was that For her little decision-making body. We always try to say to her, just try it. You don't have to, if you don't like it, you don't like it, but don't say you don't want it when you haven't tried it. But right. that's a very hard concept for her to grasp. Tough for her to grasp. So anyway, that was my, that was really my weekend. How about yours? Oh, you had an exciting weekend. <laughs> Dinah had an exciting weekend. Not yeah. that it was exciting. No, it was a rough weekend. I'm not yeah. going to lie. Right. Um, thank God everything is okay. Mm-hmm. My family. Um, well, you had you had visitors. Let's just start with you had visitors. Your sister-in-law was in from Israel, and she left on Thursday night. She left Thursday night, and, you know, she made it back just in time before the chaos, and she right. was very grateful. We all are, because she got home to her kids. My mother-in-law packed up and was all no, excited. She was supposed to land on Sunday. She was flying out Sunday. No. Uh, was she? Yeah, flying Sunday. 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 Um, yeah. And then Saturday, Israel was attacked. Mm-hmm. Uh, and they closed and the airports. They closed the airports. My husband and I were glued to the TV. Of course. I felt bad for him. He was really stressed out. I mean, I was stressed out too, but he was worried. Oh, it's his family, and, sure. You know, he wants his mom to come. Of course. For so the holidays too. It was, it's the yeah. holidays coming up too. But they said they closed the airports, so then we had to tell the kids Safta isn't coming. Mm. Mm. 
And then she woke up Sunday. And they were open. And they were checking people in and oh, everything good. was running on schedule. She didn't even arrive so what late. what time did she get in? Three. Well, that's she did arrive she an hour supposed, late. Is that what time she was supposed to get in? Yeah. No, because that's what you it's told crazy. me, right? Yeah. You told me two o'clock. It's cra- No, it was, she was supposed to get in, I think, at 3.50, and I think she landed at 4.15, okay, something so like that. Nothing oh, wow, too that's crazy. funny. So it, was, it turned out to be okay, but we, it was under high stress. Yeah, right. And thank so God everyone's like okay. for like 24 hours, you were like wondering what was going on. Yeah. So now you're preparing for the holidays. Yes. So now we're in full swing. Are you having company? Are you doing it? Yes. We're having 23 people for wow. Passover. That's life for you. For Passover. We're having Alon's birthday, oh, wow. which is Friday night dinner. His mm-hmm. birthday is Friday. Mm-hmm. And then we're having second night as well. Oh, good. So every when day we're When you say second night, you mean Tuesday night? Tuesday night. Seder. So you're doing Monday and Tuesday yeah, night. which we don't usually do. Okay. So let me ask you this question. What goodies does that bring to me? Anything? I don't know if you're going to be a fan of any of it. Sorry. Are there any sweets? My is mother it? will make the almond cookies. I'll I like bring those. you that. I do like those. But this is the holiday where we make gefilte fish. No, 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 no. No, no, no. <laughs> we but do this the haroset. Do you like the, the haroset? Like what the, is that? That's like the ground nuts and apples and the wine. Oh, I don't think I ever had that. Yeah. I mean, my family does it different. We just do crushed walnuts right, and date syrup. You know, my cultures. My sister different. dated uh, a Jewish. This fellow. is like sauce and gravy. Okay. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you should ask. My sister dated a Jewish fellow for like eleven years, and we would go to say to dinners at his at their house. They lived in Flushing. Okay. So you know, the Rosa was what you ate on the lettuce. Remember, there was sweet stuff. Yeah. And what was, was the sweet stuff? I don't remember now. It was well, that was a while ago. So we don't like so my family i'm curious to know what you know your cultures are but usually it's a mixture of like apple and nuts, nuts and what wine. makes it sweet well my mother-in-law makes it with dried fruits okay and i guess if you put apple in it she doesn't put fresh apple but it's dried fruits wine and nuts what does your and mother it's do? ground that's what my mother what we do as in the iraqi culture we do um, ground walnuts and date syrup. Oh, that would be delicious. So good. That's I hate to say it, but that sounds better to me. So good. <laughs> is your mother making it? I make it. Oh, I mean, you're making it. It's okay. date syrup is in a jar, and you just crush the walnuts. But it, so it's your mother in is not making that. No, but so Zach has taken on the tradition oh. of making the haroset for my mother in law. Yeah, for my husband's side of the family. Well, what's, so he grinds all the, like they soak it in wine. Right, right. And then they we put it through the grinder. And what is Zach making? He's the cook. Is he making no, he's, anything interesting? he's just going to be sous chef. Oh, oh okay. So maybe he was doing yeah, something. No. So, is he making any breads or any? No, no bread on Passover. Oh, you don't have bread. No, that's right. Oh, matzo. that's why Barbara always hates that because she eats No the bread. I do like matzo, I though. do, too. I'm looking forward to it because, like, everything I'm is. I'm going to go buy myself some matzo. Yeah, you should. I love gain it. Gain like five pounds. No, everyone says that. You don't gain weight from matzo. So, how are you fasting? What do you fast? I'm not fasting. There's no fast. There's it's no fast. eating. So it's you can eat fast. No, no, I guess that's, I used the wrong word. But you can't eat bread. No bread. For no how pasta long? for a week. You probably lose more. weight. Exactly. But you can't eat lose matzo. weight. So the only you can eat bread, matzo, so potato, to speak, is We matzo. eat rice. That's another thing. Let me know what your culture is. Can you eat rice? We eat rice. A lot of cultures don't. Does your husband eat rice? Yes. D- uh, so you can have rice. You can have matzah. Mm-hmm. Can you have mashed potatoes? Yep. Yeah. Mm. Lots of potatoes. I wouldn't lose weight with that. Lots diet. of potatoes. We're making that shepherd's pie with like the. Oh, mashed, I love shepherd's yeah, pie. The mashed potato. Yes, with the, with the ground. The beef. ground I I'll love bring you shepherd's. Some. That I'll bring I like. You. Okay. I'll bring As a matter of fact, I just told Emily today. Yeah. Uh, I was going to make the baby. I was going to make Reese mashed potatoes and meatloaf. Yeah. You know he loves. Love a kid loves to eat. You know, and she's He's tra- such a cutie. And she's trying to give him. Different regular foods. foods, you know, to introduce Smart. him to everything. Because on. with like Olive not wanting anything, she feels like she maybe didn't introduce her to an, I, I think she did. It's just her nature, you know, that she's a pickier eater. But anyway, so I told her that I would make him a meatloaf, meatloaf and mashed potatoes yeah. this week. That's so cute. Mm. I love the way, so I, I saw Reese and I saw the girls. Mm-hmm. We were at the bakery on Wednesday and it was yeah. just very cute. Yeah. Um, yeah, I like the way he was holding the spoon. It's like well, you can it was tell funny. He's an We're eater. trying to get him to, to like she bought those utensils. little yogurt melts. That, you know, they're these little no, dips. Cool but they, now with kids eat them, they put them in their mouth and they just dissolve. Dissolve. That's so so we're trying to get him to hand, to, you know, hand to mouth, and he can pick it up. 
but he has he's not making the connection to eat it put it in his mouth if you put it in his mouth he'll take it right so then she had these things i don't know she was calling them a um what was the word she used well wait a minute he doesn't have teeth yet does he Yes, he he's does? got four teeth. Oh, I didn't notice his teeth. Yeah, then she was calling, you know, oh, like sick. a teeth, a teether. She was calling it, but it was like this big, and it, I don't know what it's made of. I did, you know, and it's you put it in your mouth and it just melts. Because they give these kids these things, but that when you handed it to him, he put it right to his mouth. So try to figure it out, you know. It's, he's at that kind of transitional age where you know he'll he's, get it, whatever. But anyway, so he'll get it. So that's the. Uh, News. That's the long and short of it. So you got a lot of cooking coming up. Yes. So we'll see how much knitting I get done. I have big hopes for like. Actually, well, will your mother-in-law wait a do some cooking. Yeah, yeah, she's cooking a lot. I just realized we're not going to be podcasting next week, so there's hope for me for the following week to actually get some well, stuff we, done. Well, let's up to oh, you. Oh no, Thursday. You could pod right. because you can't podcast the following Monday because you're not going to. Maybe you can. I will be here. You will be. Well, you have to see we'll your see. schedule. We'll see. Anyway. So we may get some knitting done. <laughs> Should we start with what we're wearing? Yes. You want to go? Sure. I'm wearing the Peacock Tea. This is designed by Lena uh, Holmes Samoa, who is Lenit, L-E-K-N-I-T. The mean? same designer There's as the plain here. yoke tea that we featured in our last podcast. Lovely sweater. It's a top-down it's got oh, a feather and fan. Kits, right? Yes, it's mm -hmm. got a feather and fan yoke, and it's just a basic tee, and it goes straight down. Correct. Super easy, super fun. Um, same yarn that this is made in. This is in basic, right, in Lena, which is the same yarn that we used for the plain yoke tee. Worsted weight yarn, acrylic, not acrylic, cotton. it's um, cotton, linen, and viscose. There you go. I am wearing the Anchor, t Anchor Summer Shirt, I think they call it, right? It's from a Petite Knit. It's knit, again, we're twinning in that we have the same yarns. This is Lena, same cotton, linen, viscose. viscose blend. Um, and that's just been a very popular top. It's a very easy top if you haven't made any tops. I wonder how many projects tops. on Ravelry. Oh, my God, can't tell you. But if you haven't made any tops and you want to start with one, this is a great one to start with because they're in the short rows. One. Yeah. The increases are very easy. Same with the mm -hmm. Lena t uh, with the plain yoke tea. Yep. So if yes, you didn't yep. want the ribbed yoke and you just wanted more plain, you can get plainer with the plain yoke tea. But the anchor right. summer shirt is lovely. Or if you make one and you really loved it, then there's another one for you to go to. Yeah. I was telling Diana, I almost wore this one today. But I couldn't find my pants. <laughs> I wore my anchors on Wednesday. I mean, this is the season. It's like spring. Right. It's a perfect time of year. I mean, this is, I have the peacock tea. I have the but anchor I summer need... shirt. And I have the other one, the light pink one with the flowers. What's that one called? I forgot. Light pink one with the flowers? Yeah. The little buds. It's a sandness garn pattern. It's oh, escaping me. Oh, yes, 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 yes. It's that mauve pink color yes, you use. Yes, yes. Seren. So you have Seren. So you have that one. You Just have for this the record. One, you have the, the anchor. And what's the other one? This one is Aubergine. Yes. I have Discontinued. Seren. Seren discontinued. <laughs> Terracotta, discontinued. That's a great I'm color. I'm a three for three. And those are the three you're talking about. My three T's. Well, and I'm casting a new one on. Well, needless to say, Diner and I are going tea crazy, right? I have to. Crazy. Literally. I mean, I need to Every finish. Every tea we see, we want to cast on. It's been a good are. season. It's yeah. fun. Yeah. It's, you know, I don't think last year was, it was fine, but I, I there wasn't as much, um, I wasn't as motivated last year. Maybe because I didn't see th I didn't see things that really... Um, Excited, excited me that I wanted to knit, you know, I'll be honest with you. But this year we see a bunch of things we want to knit, right? Yeah, it's fun. Mm -hmm. It's fun because I feel like the t-shirts go fairly quickly. Yes, you're going to have the long sleeves. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> and that being said. Speaking of sleeves. Do we have any whips in We the have house? whips. I've got my pressed flowers. <clears throat> I'm on Sleeve Island. I will show well, you. you're almost done with the sleeves now. But I have to say, I finished she the made color progress. work. There she goes. I've got my 13 repeats on the flowers on both sleeves. Mm. Ta-da. Now you have to do your um I was cuffs. playing yarn chicken. With your with your. This is cycle. what I have left. Yeah. How many skeins did you use? Four? That yeah, with the pet, yes. 
depend on called for. Um, I have ribbing. I have ribbing on the cuff, I'm both cuffs, and I have the mm -hmm. ribbing around the neck mm -hmm. and to do the buttons. And then I'll be done. So I'm hoping the next time you see me. Are you going to put buttons on? Yes, I am. I haven't decided what color. I might go for a sparkly button. You we can. have those you buttons that, that like I ordered. Like a gray kind of a sparkly? Or sure, yeah. yeah. Something maybe to lift the you color. You want it to blend a little bit. Yes. You don't want it it's to be gonna, a distraction from the flower. No. Yeah. it's gonna. I want it to like fade into the main mm -hmm. color. Mm -hmm. But we'll see what I come up with. Yeah. So I'm super excited. This is nearly done. Yay. Yay. <laughs> and the crowd goes, woo. <laughs> <laughs> well, I will show you, and I know Tiny's going to follow this up with hers, but I just brought this so you could see the color. Oh, wow, Pam. That's the, a great color. How the color is. It's perfect. Remember I told you I picked the, what was it, Syrah? Yeah, I call it lipstick. I love it. And that's what it looks like on the hat. How fun. It is fun, isn't it? Yes. I mean, I think blue would have been more basic, but that's this, hot. I mean, that's, you know. This is you. Right. This, this is I definitely is, a yeah, you so color. I'm excited about that now. So, again, this is the kind of project I take with me, and if I can knit a round or two, you know, I knit it. And um, so, so this weekend we took Bear to the vet, mm -hmm. which is, I think, the back and forth, a half hour here, a half hour mm -hmm. there. I was yeah, like right, right, right. in the car, the airport, right, going right, to pick right. up my mother-in-law. So I ended up reaching... The crown. I haven't done crown shaping yes, yet. Yes, yes, But it's yes. a type of thing where you talk about just like mindless knitting, knitting in the round. I feel like you can almost always have a muscle burg on the head, exactly. on, on your Something needles. But anything in the round that's yep. you're just knit, knit, yep, knit. Yep, yep, yep. So I'm at the point where I need to do my crown shaping. Oh, look at that, Dinah. That's hot. That would go nicely with my coat, you know. I lend it to you. <laughs> I'm a good sharer. But I'm quite amazed at how much... This is like a stocking. <laughs> it is, it is. Hold on, this is what I have left. I still have to shape oh, the crown. Oh, you've got plenty. But quite a bit. Not enough to do another one. But, yeah, well, yeah it's very something. nice. So and this is my muscle. So are you, are, you, are you ready to begin it or have you begun it? I have not begun it. Now I'm going to put the markers in. So now how are you going to handle the, I mean, I did make a muscle berg, mm -hmm. but. Um, I'll put markers for the. But when you get down to the nitty-gritty down here deep hands okay not magic looping it yeah mm -hmm. right I don't know. no i'll just do deep hands and then mm -hmm. i have to set up my it's like a four increase yeah, right here it was a four increase yeah four mm -hmm. angle increase so i have to set up my markers to isolate the decrease right the double stitches and then i will be able to work on my crown shaping so hopefully this will be an fo the next time i see you Good. Uh, I definitely, I'm at the point where I need to concentrate with this, with the crown shaping, setting it up. I know, I and know. all of that. I was looking, I, I, I really should take another fingering weight skein I have at home of something and just Start knit another it. one. It's fun. Because, you know, that way you have something to... Well, this was a sport weight, so I'm curious to see how this will, like, You deal. know, that's not a bad idea, too. You could just make, you could... Any gauge works. Yeah, it's right. I mean, right. if you want that's a right. warmer hat, that's right. You're right. So this will be warm, like my finger. Because it's weight double. One. It's double layered. Yeah, it's yeah. really like I took the Musselberg. Where was I in Switzerland? I have mm -hmm. to say, like I needed a warmer hat. It wasn't. And that was perfect. Oh, it was a it, warm enough. I could have used a warmer, a warmer hat. hat. Okay. Yeah. So this is like a, especially this, this is, is a little weight. bit, a little it's bit thicker. thicker. I feel it. So when I double cuff it, it's going to be it's, so nice and toasty ears, on yeah. the ears. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I'm psyched yeah. about that. I wonder. I was thinking if you took the dyed in the wool, and you could use instead of using like the fuwa fuwa or the billow, you could use another color of dyed in the wool. Correct. A complementary. Like color. you know what would be nice if you used a melancholia or a nostalgia. Right, and we also or salty have those other, dog, or even that Reykjavik, the gray yes, with the bright. That would be lovely. Beautiful. Oh, we should make some kits for that. Yeah, so that would be pretty. That's super fun. Um, so that's my Musselberg. Good. You want to show yours? Oh yeah. You have more to show on I know. your. Oh, on this, yeah. and this is the um, garden cardigan. Yes. So we're starting our class. Tuesday, tomorrow. Tomorrow, yes. We're super excited. The Facebook group is getting active. We just posted yeah, our got, Zoom it, link. It seems like we're going to have another really good active group yes, in this, this one. Yes, this colorway is gorgeous. This is, the, this is the part of the back. This is the cumin colorway. Mm -hmm. And then I, when I did that, I then picked up for the front, which is here. And what's nice is you see that ribbing? 
That's it's a built-in front border rib, yeah, so yeah. you don't have to pick up there stitches were, like I do. <laughs> there were a few. <laughs> there were a few short rows, as you can see. One the slanted side, shoulder. The slanted mm -hmm. shoulder is slanted. So I have this one to finish. Then I'll finish the other one. Then I guess we'll be in the round for the not in the round. We'll be joined Connected. for the mm -hmm. yeah, for the body. All in one. But it's a, a fairly mindless uh, project, and uh, this yarn is the felted tweed from Rowan, and. Um, this yes. is, as I said, the cumin. I don't know the number, but it's cumin colorway. Right. I don't think I have the label. I think there. we're actually sold out of that color. So yeah. if anybody wants it, just let me know and I'll special order it for you. Correct. So uh, it's a beautiful it. color. Mm -hmm. It's not too late to join the knit along. And you know, like this is light as air. You can almost feel it. Nice. You see how that is? It's, yep. it's great for a cardigan. So I'm excited. And this was one skein so far. Wow. Yeah. It's it goes bad, quickly. Right? Yeah. Right. Well, right. Right, 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 right. So you figure it. I'll be joined in the under. I'm still on the second skein, I believe. Right. You'll have a plan. plenty. I think I'll have a plenty. Great. Anyway, so that is the my second whip. And I have I, no FOs. I have started mine. Where is mine? Share the new oh. colorway. That's such yep. a pretty colorway. So I have mine here. That colorway is called clay. That I, no, peach. No, peach. 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 What do I, I say? I was vacillating that? between Why? sizes. Oh, I went back and did a little bit on the size five. I couldn't tell if I wanted the five or the four needle. Mm -hmm. Tell me what you think. I ended up with the size four. Mm -hmm. uh, this is, I didn't get very it's far. It's hard to tell on this. But I'm ready to pick up for my front. And what I'm going to do is use that time to show our Zoomers how to pick up in real time. And right. then we'll do our short rows right. on Zoom. And so if you're, ever, right, if you're ever wondering how we handle our Zooms, we like to do a lot of real or live in real time demonstrations. Right, 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 right. Uh, if we can't do that, we try to upload videos where we do the techniques. This or is even my sometimes we still do that if we feel it's a needs more attention. Right, right. This here is called. Um, it's also the felt of tweed. It's the peach colorway. Yeah, that's pretty. So, Love that colorway. That's what I have. Those are my whips. I'm excited to hopefully get some new ones on the needle Exa for next time. Well, you cl we know that the hat's going to be done, and yeah. that has to be done. The hat, yeah. I think you can have two whip, two FOs, Diana. I'm hoping. Fingers crossed. I don't crossed. want to jinx myself. I know. I'm not going to have any I'm FOs. just going to have, if I have one, I'll be happy. The hat. Right. And Well, Diana and I were both saying, you know, how many projects are we going to cast on? But that's, that's the fun part of it, you know. That's yeah. the fun part of it. And you know what? When you're doing summer teas, they really aren't sleeves. Right. Hopefully it'll go faster. Exactly. So that's what we have to show you. I was going to say something about that now, and I can't remember, but whatever. It makes a difference. What should we show first? You tell you me, knit. Dana. You knit. No, no, no. We I'll can talk start. about this. Okay. You want to do that one yeah, first? Yeah, you okay. knit. No, you can show it to me. Um, I think this was for the... It's right here. Oh, thank you. Hello. It's right up there. As okay. you As you'll tell in about... A few minutes, in the next few minutes, you'll see we're going tea crazy. Yes, literally. So this is a pattern that just dropped by Tori Yu. It's called Skyline Tea. And if you're typing it into Ravelry, one word. Skyline, second word, tea. Uh, cute top. It's short sleeves. What can I tell you? She says There's the a schematic e in the back. She says the ease is, I think, uh, four to six or something like that? Something like that. I think we've kitted our, our kits go up through a size seven, which is a 58 inch finish bust. So our kits include three skeins of Suburban Sock fingering weight. If you needed to do a larger size, by all means request um, another skein. If we have it, we'll let you know. And I think what we said, was it on this one that um, maybe it was on the other one, the first two sizes I think, remember you had asked me about two two skeins, and I think it's, um, hold on, I like think if it's I look at the one. yardage, I think it is this one. Um, yes, it is. Yeah, that if you uh, only had two skeins, you could do the first two sizes, and the bust on those are 34 and 38. 38. Finished. So, Finished right, bust. so if you needed that size, you could take a, a skein off. Or you can buy two skeins a la carte. Yeah, exactly. To you. And there are other, like we, we kitted it with Suburban. You could use other... Other, you could Lube use Ruby the Kokan. Roses, the Kokan, Kokan is a nice Madeline one. Madeline Tosh, there's right. so many options. Exactly. Just look at your yardage because they're all about, you know, they're all within 425, 437, 460, you know. 
This is a top-down tee. It includes saddle shoulders. And for those of you who don't know, a saddle shoulder I means like you're going to work this section first, and then you pick up and work down. Right. So you're working your sh shoulders first, and then you pick up and work down. And if you look on Ravelry, Tori did it in this like hot orange color. Yes. Like a burnt orange. Yeah, super Very fun. Very pretty. So we'll show you some colors. I was going to actually just pull up Tori you. Yeah, it's a great color I she has it in. But the copy came in the um, like Here a white is. color. Yep. There it is. Super fun. So we do have something very similar if you want to twin with Tori, but we'll start with our basics. Sure. Uh, this one here is called Granny Square. That's like my, uh, one of my tees. Which one was it? This Bird Knits? Yes, it was a This Bird's Knits tee. In granny, granny square is a great color. Look it's at a that. fun one. It's Look got the cute great color in there. flex of like mm -hmm. a traditional granny square, and it's on a gray base. Love it. So that's a great colorway. Then mm, if you're opting for gold, this is like a little bit ray of sunshine here. Mm -hmm. Gold. Mm -hmm. We have a beautiful I love this one. This vintage is right colorway. wheelhouse, as you can tell from what I'm wearing. Cozy. Cozy. Love it. Isn't this in your vertices? Yes, it is. It's a great color. It is. I'll put it over here so you have some stacking room. I didn't want to crowd you. That's this okay. colorway is called Spearmint. Pretty. And it came up so nicely in the photograph I took because there are just layers, there are layers in there. Right. I, I, I might be seeing it, but going too quickly, but no, there that's are fine. the color has depth. Mm -hmm. So although we're showing you the color, it's not just going to come out as a as flat as flat. Right. right. This colorway is called Velvet Magenta. That's a pretty also color. subtle shading. Mm hmm this colorway not as much color variation but super pretty for the spring it's called butter butter <laughs> sound like the girls on Sorry. saturday saturday night uh, saturday class. night live mm -hmm. wisteria lane now that has, has layers. layers look at that one yeah it's a pretty one that's pretty uh next up is a oh, colorway that love i really love one. love yeah, this one this one is in my mm. wheelhouse mm. joy it does bring me joy see I those love, speckles yes. down there so it's like a dusty, very pale mauve, mauve lavender. Very pale, yep. yeah. Love it. This one is a Pammy color. <laughs> Freshly cut. Freshly cut. There you go. And last but not least, it's electric, which is very similar to the colorway that Tori. Where was there a beige? Used. There was a beige color. Oh, antique. Antique, where is that? What happened to antique? Find that. Let me find that. Figure. So just so you could see, there's also shading in this color. Now listen, are these all the colors we have for Suburban? No, there are other colors that you'll find on the website, uh, depending on how many skeins you need. If you're looking for something a little speckled, there's a colorway I think called Sugar. Um, what else is lightly speckled? Done. Maybe the Sea Smoke, or you know, if there's another kit that you might like, you can this always inquire. This is a great neutral. This is lovely. Mm -hmm. It's like an antique. Oh, well, it's called antique. I was going to say it's an antique white. And literally, That's like a paint color. Right? Yeah, <laughs> it's beautiful. And believe it or not, there is shading in here. I'm not mm -hmm. sure if you're catching it, mm -hmm. but it's very soft and subtle. But again, as I said, we have other colors. Not every, We have cosmopolitan. We have yes. icing. Yes. We have, um, I don't know if it's steel or... Or the gray smoke the lighter or steel. gray, mm -hmm. you know. So there are plenty of colors. We we didn't do all of them, but too many to show. Too many to show. We picked kind of a a representation. Yes. Um, and so that. I, go ahead. I'm sorry. Do we have any of like the tuva, the, like the teals? I think yeah, we had I think some we of that too. Yeah, I think we have a tuva. Mm -hmm. And you know what I'm thinking just now that we don't have in there is like a blue, but I don't know if we yeah, have that much blue left in there. Well, a lot of people cadet, bought the cadet. We had yeah, cadet. I don't we know if we have that. We kept uh, restocking cadet for I think the Sonia shirt. Right, exactly. So that was. So that is a new tee that we're showing right now. Designed by Tori. Congratulations. Wish you lots of success in this pretty design. The next tee is called the Salmon Sat 24. I hope I'm saying that right. S-A-M-M-E-N-S-A-T 24. And this is by Elizabeth. Elsbeth Judith. Elsbeth. And it's Judith. funny because it just popped up on my phone. Now in this particular picture Dinah's showing you, she's wearing a three-quarter sleeve. Is that It a looks like a long, long sleeve, sleeve? long sleeve version. Mm -hmm. And I'm just trying to get up close. And then and if I swipe, go to the, oh, no. um, where's the one, you can't see the texture in that as much. No, not as much as, uh, maybe if I go like this, there, there it is. There you go, yeah, yeah. It's got a beautiful texture to the pattern. Whoops, I don't need to see that. 
uh, it comes with an option of long sleeves. Three quarter sleeve or yeah, short sleeve. sleeve. Which is always which very generous when a designer this one. gives you the variation. So you have options. In the pattern. And she says, a well-fitted raglan tee with a small stitch pattern and long or short, short or long sleeves. So they say it works from the top down. Now, Salmon Sat 24, the gauge is 24 stitches to 4 inches. Correct. And it runs from extra small to 3XL. Um, and I will tell you that the bust goes from 32 and 3 quarters to 52 and a half. And she says a positive ease of zero to four. So it doesn't have a, a humongous pos positive ease like some tops do nowadays, right? Right. Now I'm on the fence because I was going to knit the Knuss Light, and that still <laughs> might be. But maybe you guys can help me. Should I knit Salmon Set 24 in short sleeves, or should I knit the Knuss Light? I would do this one. You have that it's always one. Not, I know. I feel like I have that one. You could do both. I could do both, but for now, I feel like I let me delve into something one. new. I agree with that. She mentions um, in the pattern yarn alternatives, and we are using one of the alternatives. It was Tin Lena from Saniscarn, and that's what we kitted these up in, right? Mm -hmm. And we kitted it up uh, with five skeins. Each, each skein has about... 200, Oops. between 240 yeah, and 250, what's that? Your, I'm trying to your land ice it cubes. On, yeah, I'm trying there to land go. it on the table. Each skein has between 240 and 250 yards yardage. It's 220 meters. So we kitted it with five skeins. And that, with the five skeins, you can go to a... Bup, 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 Size bup. five, which was a... 45 and a quarter. Right. Now, the largest finished bus just... 52. So, right, is a 52 a inch finished bust. Right. So check the pattern if you wanted something um, a little bit bigger. Perhaps you can use something like a little bit of a looser gauge to add a little right. extra ease. Just right. keep in mind that you want to keep track of your armholes. Well, maybe, like you said, the Knus Light might be a, I don't a know, better option. A better. Maybe mm -hmm. she has a, um, a larger size on that. I don't know. But what we did is we used the. Um, Tin Lena from Sandiscon, which I believe has the same breakdown. It's 55 um, cotton, linen 14 and linen, and 33 viscose. How many meters did you say it was? 220 meters. Thank you. And um, we have about, believe it or not, I don't know, there's something like 17, 16 or we 17 colors. Um, so we're going to start showing them to you. I don't know. Do you're you know right, the, 240. 240, yeah, that's what I thought. So 5 times 240 is like uh, 1150, 11. right? Yeah, like 1150. 160. And so with 1150, where's the yardage? No, it's 1200. It's 1200, okay. There you go. So um, I don't know, the, are there names or numbers on these? Do you know the names? I think that was like dark periwinkle. I call it like a grape yeah. to me, but like a muted grape. But anyway, this is one colorway. Um, I'm going to do this one. This one is... Chartreuse. There you go. We have to put an orange in there. Orange. Who might not I want love orange. orange. Popular color, right? Mm -hmm. um, the next one is this beautiful color. Lilac. So they discontinued aubergine and came up with the lilac. There you go. Pops a little more. Right? Yeah. This is my color. Raspberry cream is what I'm wearing today. Ochre. Ochre. Now I'm going to show you a couple of things. There are a couple of different golds and or yellows. This is ochre. What's this, Dinah? God, I forgot. It's, um, you told me too, and I can't remember what it was. But this is more like a goldish. This to me is like a burnt sugar kind of a color. Then you've, I'll tell you right now. Sorry. I think this is called straw. No, this isn't The straw. yellow is straw. Yep. It is? Mm -hmm. Look at that. Good I one. remember that. And then this one, I don't remember what that one's called, but this is a yellow that has a little more green in it. So I'm going to show you the four colors. Yes, they are different, and there's a reason for each one. But you can see from a gold to a burnt sugar to a buttery color to a, a, a greenish so yellow. So the one is ochre. Yeah, that's this one. Yellow yeah. green is this that one. one. Yep. Straw is the light yellow. And then curry. Curry, there you go. This is curry. Perfect. So, there you go. So that's that whole family. And to go along with the raspberry cream, we have the... Pink. Pink. This is called pink. So there you go. So here, kind of like pink. your pinkish colors like that. 
Right. Mm-hmm. Then we have the blues. Then we have the blues. Oh, well, that's the one I showed you. That kind of does go with it, though. Yeah, it this does. This is the, um, it's a lighter, softer Ice blue. blue. Ice blue. And what is this one, Dinah? Dark blue gray. Yeah, and it does just look like a dark blue gray. And this is the one I showed you before, the gray. Dark periwinkle. Yeah, there you go. And then we go into our neutrals, of course. There's the black. And there's the white. And there's, we. Call, this is the kit. It's like a cream color. It's actually like a, yeah, like an off-white, and then they call this one, although it has like a purplish hue or a mauve hue, that's called light beige. Yep. So, so those are your these neutrals. These are yeah. the neutrals. So you can see we had to show you all these colors because <laughs> there's so many. Right. And, and can you so imagine good. this great tea? They're so good. Yeah. I'm hard-pressed. I don't know. I feel like... You know, it's funny. I have to say I was looking today, and I really have no neutrals. I have to make some neutral colors, you know. I took white for summer knus light, for knus light. Did you? I did. It's in my bag. In this? In the, in this? Yep. Mm -hmm. Well, that would be lovely in, in the green. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep that. I but will I tell, need a different color for this tea. I will tell you, Grace finished her, um, I don't know what the pattern was. She used a suburban sock yarn. She used nudie patootie, I believe. I love and it I had. It's a great color. The, it had the. That's another color you could do. It had like some stitch. I don't know if it was a yarn over stitch. I don't know what the stitch was. It came down like this. Do you remember that? There were just a few lines. Oh, didn't um, Sue? Sue who? From California or not from California. Oh, you're talking about, um, yes, you're talking about. Um, sun something, st sun. Sunburst. Yeah, you're talking about, yeah, I, I can't think of the name of it, but lovely lovely I and the think color that's it. we did it in green we did it in all the right. suburban stitcher right. colors right. yes lovely it's a great um, top. when i have a picture of it i'll I'll, okay. I'll give it to you sounds uh, good she had like a little drop stitch in it that we had to fix but anyway so um those are two new tees that we have so now we've got let's see we've got i don't think i can knit skyline any more tees. tee We've got, what's this called? Sum and Sat 24 tea. We've got the Sonia. The plain yolk tea. The plain yolk tea. Neela is not a tea. Neela. It's, it's a summer top. Speaking of Neela, I will show you. I found you I brought your my gauge. Oh, yeah. I've had it, I had it done last week. Oh, you didn't have it but last week. But I forgot week. it. I forgot to bring it. And I just love the way this came out. This is bound off, so it's not going to come. This has been blocked already, too. This is the stitch for the Neela tea. And um, love it. It's an easy stitch, and I think I'm trying to remember now. You can't. So Pam is going to use Sunday. She called by Santa's garden. Right. She called for a two point five millimeter needle. Wasn't it? It wasn't a U.S. two and a half, was it? Was it two point five millimeter? She no for? U.S. two point five. U.S. two, mm -hmm. which I didn't have. So what I did is I gauged on a on a straight needle, one being a two, one being a three. Does it average to two and a half? I don't know. Then I did a three. Then I went to a two, and I honestly do think I like the top one the best. The, the two. two. And so I think I am going to go with the two. So I am ready. I am ready to cast on. Now, Neela, just for the record, is going to be another class that we are going to be posting to our knit alongs. Uh, I should just give you the dates. I love that color. They're not on here. The dates are on my calendar. Oh, I, um, we know so, what they are. So, yes. Mm -hmm. Start with them. So we have Sylph, which is a new announcement. as going to be a new knit along uh, that was voted in from our last Zoom class. Sylph by Natasha Hornby. We have to bring up her. Oh, we're going to have two this month from, yes. this, from Natasha, oh. actually. Mm -hmm. Well, when you say this month, we're at the well, end of April. We're talking about going May. Into May. Excuse me. Right. So uh, May 7th, we're going to put these up for a sign-up. So May 7th, we're going to run Sylph as the first Zoom class. And kits are available. We're going to go over those kits right now. And we're going to have monthly classes, and they're going to be three sessions. Uh, the second class in the month is going to continue with our garden cardigan. And then the third week is going to be Neela, and that'll be another three... Summer top. Right, another summer top with three classes. Now, people will knit at their own pace. Uh, we found that some people finish the vertices a lot quicker than our class. They finish faster than we did. <laughs> and that's okay. That's fine. Um, sometimes people just need guidance. Right. Some people are not in it for um, 
let's say the the learning part of it they're in it for the community everybody joins for different reasons some people just like to be part of a knitting community and that's what it should be it should be it should there shouldn't be pressure there's no pressure you know i mean dinah and i uh again we uh, there are things that we finish we finished to the ones that we haven't finished and that's okay like you know, i clearly haven't difference. finished my pressed flowers right. pam for example did not even cast on for the pressed flowers Everybody does what works for them. Correct. There's no judgment. Everybody, it's all good. Yes, it's a, it's, a, it's a fun group, I have to say. All the groups have been fun. This is the self and the color Natasha did, which is the Rowan Felted Tweed color. Sulfur. Sulfur, yes. Love it. What a pop. Yeah, that is a pop. So, I mean, this looks lovely, of course. This is the pattern page, but that really is wonderful, isn't it? It's great. It's great. So anyway, so um, funny, you know, ironically, the Sylph kits as well as the Garden Cardigan kits take the same number of skeins. Yes. So it's both eight skeins. So we, you, you, you made up the, so you tell them how they are on the website. Sylph, S-Y-L-P-H-E, mm -hmm. uh, eight skeins in the felt of tweed. Now we also proposed the uh, Knitting Place Soft Sport, Stuff sport, yeah. Right, as an option, and we'll show those colors, and it's just yielding a different number of skeins, but the yardage right. will yield enough to make right. the shawl. Right. So we're just going to show you the fun colors. But how will they find it on the website? In other words, so, garden, garden is a separate. separate. So, but if you see a color in garden that you don't see in silf, it's an interchangeable kit. Correct. You can you buy can a buy, garden right. kit if you're late to the garden party and you want to join the cal which it's never too late to join any cal you can certainly buy a colorway that's available in itself if you don't see it in garden right, cardigan. exactly so let's of course this is natasha's color this is the sulfur, sulfur. this is you know the name's better than ultramarine me. look at that color guys as you can see diner and i do like them in bright colors we yeah, think it fun. looks great this is the vaseline green yep or vase line whatever it is what pam says there's no such thing as vase line dinah's peach Dinah's that's peach. the colorway that i'm knitting my garden cardigan so clearly i won't be knitting this for the silk a neutral aluminum aluminum it's like a gray it's a beautiful color. Yeah, if but you it's want got a neutral. like a purplish hue. Exactly. It's like right. mineral. This is a beautiful color. Do you know what that's called, Dana? Aster. Aster, yeah. Like purple. Very that's pretty. Purple. This is... Heliotrope. Heliotrope. So here, let's just show you these. Yep. There you go. And there's another one. There's this one, which is I mean, frozen. you could probably put this in the same category. Yep. And this is frozen. A very, very light pink. Yeah, very pale. It's pink. a little bit more uh, saturated in color. But it's still very pale. Yes. But it's more pink. Yeah. Okay, so there you go. Um, love this color. Electric green, as opposed to the other green. Is, is that this one? Oh, I showed you that one. Yes. That's that one, right. Okay. Then there's also this. That would be a blue. This one, I forget what this is called. I don't know. 165. And then this is, I was calling this camel. I don't know if it is camel. I, I called it camel on the website, but the number is there. Yeah, so these are well, still colors, but a little more neutral. Okay. I think that's it, Dinah. That's it. Like, that's all. It's a lot. Well, we have the soft <laughs> sport. We have the soft sport. Now, this is going to the soft sport. This color is toffee rose. Hold on one second. I'm dropping. This is, ro is that Rosalie? Rosalie. This is Daisy. And then we have Idle, Idlewise. 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 I'm going to say it right. And this is Jacinta. Jacinta. Mm -hmm. And this is Azure. Four skeins is what it takes for the self. Right. So if you're doing these colors. Right. So these are the sport weight colors on that. Very pretty. And of course, four skeins if you wanted to get another colorway. That's available oh, yeah. in the sport weight yeah. collection. Right. There's also sport weight. I though I don't know how much sport. Now weight we didn't go. You can see we didn't go dark necessarily. No, I think for this particular piece, you want to stay on the lighter side, or at least be able to see the actual texture. This, yeah, the texture in, in the, the shawl. Exactly. Yeah. You want to see the flowers at the bottom. Right. So uh, this this knit along is starting on May seventh, correct? And um, and that's that's the. 
the sylph, right? Is there anything yes. else to say about the sylph? No. If you have yarn in stash, by all means, yeah. check out the yardage that you'll need. Uh, yeah. And by all means, stash dive. Exactly. We always welcome anyone. You don't have to buy a kit to participate for in sure. the knit along. For sure. Uh, you do need to sign up and pay for the knit along to get access to our private Facebook group and all. Um, and that's what that that's what it is with the group. You there's a, a private Facebook group. There's conversation going on. There's access to the Zooms, whether you watch it live or you watch it on playback. And sometimes what Diana and I do is we do individual videos if we feel the technique warrants it, and we post it to the Facebook group right. as well. And they're always up there, so you always have access to them. Right. Right? Yes. And um, what else, Diana? Um, we also... Go ahead. Are you going to no. say something? No, go ahead. I was going to say that we also... Um, we're planning a crochet in May. Yes, so stay tuned for that one. And we have to pick that. And I we appreciate have to all the kits. recommendations that have come through on yep. my DMs. Yep. Uh, and, yeah, either through DM or email. Yep. So stay tuned for that one. Yep. I do want to mention that we have a couple of new products oh, in yeah, stock. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, let's see. We have received a delivery for our bags. You may have seen this one. This is Knitwit on orange. But we also got Knitwit on navy. And the Knitwit is with the light pink letters yep. on yep. a navy bag. There you go. Uh, we have a new unwind bag. That's the unwind in black with, with the turquoise letters. That's pretty. And we also have the unwind turquoise on a lavender bag. Pretty. Then we have the popular ball sack. <laughs> Knit Life has been... A fun expression. Yeah. And this is the knit pearl as an example where you have knit on one side and pearl oh, yeah. on the other. So different color letter. Yes. So for those of you who did not receive your bags or a notification that your bag shipped, we will be um, receiving a new order. So stay tuned. There you We're go. almost caught up. There you go. But these are new ones that are available. So that's what I have new in bags. And then I told you I received a Cocon delivery, and we oh, had a yeah. lot of people who had been waiting for the heirloom quilt cardigan. Wow. Do you have any extras, or are I they all do. sold? I do. I have two kits extra. One of them, <laughs> I believe, is mine. Uh, however, since I'm not getting to it immediately, if it them. sells out first, that's okay. I can be patient and order another one. But this is the heirloom quilt cardigan. As you can see, there are nine skeins. This is for a size two. I have two size two kits available. Um, two size, did you say two size two? Two size twos, yes. Uh, they're all dyed on the merino linen base. And well, if you'll notice- I'm gonna notice, show you two things. That's the cardigan. That's now the I'm, original. I'm gonna show it to you in the cocon color right, right now. Now that's designed by um, Katrin Seberger. Mm -hmm. Heirloom quilt cardigan if you're looking for it on Ravelry. Now we had done a knit along for the heirloom quilt and Michelle was inspired to create her own kit and have it knit up as a sample in her yarn and she just knocked it out of the park. Where is that? I'm looking for it. Uh, so. It's under Cocon Blue. There it is. Okay. It's got to be there. Oh, there it is. Does she have another picture if I swipe? There, that's the one I was looking for. Let me make it a little bigger. Absolutely stunning. That is stunning. Stunning. That is, it actually is very stunning. Yeah. So. I have it. envy, so I'm going to need another one, even though I didn't I finish my first one. I think you should stop the other one and you <laughs> start should do this, this one. one. <laughs> that's what I think. Hi. Not enough hands, but this is the merino linen, and Michelle was consci conscious this time, and she's including this watermark, What's and I'm going mean? to explain this watermark on every one of her skeins. Um, so this watermark, here's the skein, and as you can see, there's a tag here, and what she has, it says water is precious. How many liters of water does it take to grow one avocado? 70 liters. To dye one pair of jeans, 100 liters of water. To dye one cocon blue semi-solid skein, 6 liters. 
to dye one cocon blue speckle skein, this one here, only three liters. Mm. To dye one cocon blue jean skein, five liters. So she is taking into consideration how precious water is, and she's taking the um, time to make sure that she is not being wasteful. That's what so, each tag says? Well, each tag talks about how, oh, much, how much water yes. it takes to dye that yeah. skein. Interesting. Yeah. The water usage. So That's she has cute. a pre soak dye bath rinsing three liters of water to dye this skein. Mm -hmm. So I thought that was very clever. Um, so you'll see that each tag, I guess, has you know the various water usage amounts. For example, this one here this one. is six, six liters. Interesting. It's darker. Three liters. It must be six because liters. of the darker. Yeah. yeah. But in comparison to what it takes to grow an avocado to dye a pair of jeans, <laughs> think of that six, every time you three, eat an avocado, five, right? No, but seriously, yeah. she's, you know, I, I love that. And I love that she's always conscientious and thinking about the planet and the earth, and it's great. So I like to support Michelle and all of her beautiful work. In addition to the heirloom quilt cardigans, we have two new speckled fade kits now what could you do with that you could do this, this you could do, well. there is that beautiful shawl so i'm not sure if skeins are in there five five you could do the vertices unite you can definitely do the vertices unite but the what the reason i fell in love with this kit was at the show she had um i think it's called the star is it starflake by stephen oh, west i've seen that there was um one somebody made it Hold on a minute. Is it on her on her Instagram? It's on her feed. It's right here. No, it's excuse me. It's called Shawlography. You know what? Can I see that? Oh, I know that one. Yeah, Shawlography. Uh -huh. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, let me see if I can find another picture. In oh, that's gorgeous too. Well, this is done with the dark blue. This one here. Yep. But that's a variation. So that's one of the projects that you can do. You can certainly do a Vertices Unite. She's got so many things here. Yes. There's lots of options that you can knit. Uh, it's a five skein fade. Look in your queue. In this particular case, it's the Speckled Fade in the Jean-Michel collection. Very Love nice. It. So two of those kits are available. Always very popular. It's funny. I saw a Stephen West shawl the other day. <laughs> You're gonna laugh, Diana. I can't. If I could find it now, I would tell you which one it was, but I, I can't remember. I'm sure if I went to his um, if to his feed on Instagram, I would see it. But um, I said, you know what? I like that shawl, but you're never gonna believe what it was. It had mohair in it, and you liked it. <laughs> now yeah. you have my attention. Uh, I don't know if he has it on his um, over here. It might have been on something else. I think he had it on YouTube. but um, You don't have to show it to I'll me. I'll have to show it to you. But anyway, it was a fun... I'm uh, having a hot flash. Yeah, we've been, it's been warm today. It was yes, warm today. It was warm today. Uh, I have a few FOs to share. Go ahead. This is uh, one of our local knitters, Lynn. You know the basic hat book? Basic hat book. No, I don't know if it's the handy book. Remember okay. that yeah, you yeah, took yeah, the yeah, basic yeah. beanie for a newborn? What yes, is the name yes. of that book? Oh, who, no idea. That was like a phone book or an address book or something. In the back, there's a, is With, there a sweater pattern in so there? So this sweater came out of that book. It's I a never basic knew that. knit sweater she knitted out of Aaron Moore um, from Fiber Company. Who did that? Lynn, local customer. Oh, okay. So this is ready for pickup. I never knew there was a sweater in that book. Exactly. Jeez, isn't uh, that crazy? This one is the, uh, what is the name of the shawl? There it is. I can't believe I'm drawing a blank. Is that it? That's it. You guys are not going to believe this. <laughs> if I could stop this, I would. Take the pic. Show the picture. Okay. Jesus. There it is. <laughs> no, no, no. Done. What? Done. Okay. Save. I and then go to show my the photos. photos. Okay. Are you surprised, Dana, huh? I'm very surprised. <laughs> Something about it. Look at that, guys. Look at that shawl. And that 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 
like triangular design that you're seeing there, that's the mohair. Isn't that great? I just thought that was, I don't know if it's the colors. I just like that. I think that's lovely. You don't think that's nice? I love it. Look at that. Oh, love that. I'm just in shock. It's called the Slippy something. Slippy V shawl, I think. Okay, go ahead, Dan. This here is called the Urban Wrap. It's a Clinton Hill pattern. And one of our customers, Ooh, Corey, that's very a shout out to you. Mm -hmm. Corey loves to knit in cashmere. And what she did here is I'm she watching. used all of her leftovers. Get out of here. To knit this gorgeous it's, wrap. But it's so, it's so, now she only has that yellow at that end, right? Right. So what happened is she knit the um, tweed cardigan. She had a couple of skeins, clearly. I was going to say, did she have she to was, buy more? She had a couple that she was knitting hats with in her stash. Yeah. But she had a lot of leftovers. She did add a little. Yeah. But not much. Mm -hmm. And she used her leftovers, oh, which I thought beautiful. was very clever. And what's this called again? The Urban Wrap. That's it's a right. free the pattern when you purchase the Urban Wrap. All of the patterns from Clinton Hill, as long as you buy. Do you know how many skeins it takes to make it? The Urban Wrap. Know that. Yes. I know here, that. I have it right here. Mm. Mm. Yep. Quantities. Hold on. Here we go. There it is. Yarn. Ten. Ten, ten skeins mm -hmm. for the Urban Wrap. So she used her leftovers. Did she use ten skeins in total? Maybe It doesn't not. make a difference. No, she, exactly. She planned it out. Right. She used her leftovers. Which is the lovely. Color sequence is and you can see, you know, it's a, a, it, to the point that you have your comfort, your comfort zone with your colors. And those are the colors. And she had a couple of pops in there. But yes. And she, so the pink, I know that she used that in her letho. Mm -hmm, that was the mm -hmm. pink that it was in her diamond. I know that uh, some of the neutrals was in her Tweety cardigan. Oh, see, there you go. And yeah, it's just interesting. Nicely, yeah, good. She nice. used what was in her stash. Yes. Uh, what is the name of this? Not that I have. No, Let I me don't. go get the sample. Tell them. I'll get the sample. Them. No. Do you that, know where it is? No. I know where it is. But is the name on it? Yes, the name's oh. on the sample. You sure you yes, want to get it? I can talk get it. about the cowl. I design. wore this a few weeks ago um, on the podcast. Um, it was, it's designed by Antonia Shanklin. Is it used far, Dinah? Yes, three skeins. Three skeins of far, clearly two for this light gray and one for the darker gray. Of course, you could wear it either way with the dark color on the top, a uh, light color on the top, or the light color on the bottom. It's knit in the round. I like it the other way, I think. Um, there you go. That's right. It's knit in the round. Uh, it's garter stitch, so that would mean around knit, around pearl. And um, again, this is what you would call, mine is called the tonal. Yep, the tonal cowl. T-O-N-A-L-E cowl by Antonia Shanklin, and it's a free pattern with purchase. There you go. A shout out to Lainey, who is a brand new knitter. She may knit this? She learned how to knit just one project before this one. Oh, she knit great job. a cowl in the Rasta. Look how nice this and even it is. This was her second project mm. where she learned how to purl. So she um, knit one round, purled one round. And this I is see, a perfect I project. I see great knitting in her future. <laughs> she, so now she's knitting Unwind by yeah. Tracy Miller. Oh, fabulous. So she's, she's doing learning some lace. to increase in lace. Yep, yep. She's great. And I told her her next thing could be a t-shirt. The plain yeah, yoke sure. She could do one of the t-shirts. Yeah. Absolutely. Super cool. Anyway, so that's, so that's the tonal cowl. Perfect if you're a brand new knitter. Mm -hmm. Now, um, the beauty with this, this kind of a project, you're practicing your knit and you're practicing yeah. your purl. Yeah. across the rounds very good you're really uh cementing your skills yes you're knitting and purling yes this one here was knit by ronnie this is called the traveler shawl oh this was uh designed by andrea mowry andrea mowry and she did it with two colors as you can see I believe this one was dear diary yep. and that one was syringa and the way you wear it it's kind of fun because it's kind of and like that's in the dyed in the wool right dyed in the wool and she did the larger version it's nice that's so another that's nice pretty. one too gorgeous what is it four skeins two and two i think was it i think she used five because it was the larger one so okay. it was three and two oh, nice yeah lovely and one other project that ronnie knit and finished <laughs> ronnie was in our zoom class for the vertices unite this is a perfect example she took some stash yarn and then she came in and we complemented some of her stash and threw in a couple of colors to bring. She's going to get tons of use out of yeah, this. Yes, this is great. It's a great neutral. Yep. 
She's and got that is, one kind of pop there yeah, in the center. The vertices unite. Good. So way to go, everyone, on your FOs. We hadn't done FOs Yes, yeah, sometimes we have more FOs than yes. others, right? <laughs> I think I neglected I forgot to mention so, last week. So Dinah and I were talking before about teas, and we were saying, Dinah said to me something bad. I don't know why. Did you say I don't know why people? Oh. I, what did you say to me? Some people don't like to wear knitted teas in the summer. Correct. And I said, well, we were like, look at what we're wearing today, but... Then we decided that some people don't like the wool, the fact that the yarn is wool at, for the tees. But Diana and I both find the fingering weight tees to be extremely wearable. Like this is cotton acrylic, and cotton linen and viscose in the Santa Scarlina, which is a worsted weight yarn. Mm -hmm. I find when I wear my fingering weight suburban sock tees, which is my a merino wool nylon blend, I feel cooler in that sweater than I do in this one. Or the merino linen. I love yarns. merino linen. We did the salty air tea oh, with that. I love merino we did, linen. What was the one we did last year from, um, went sideways. Dune Drifter. Dune Drifter, thank yep. you. That was uh, another one. Yep. Wool and Pines, yeah. Wool and Pines, love, thank love, you. Love, love merino you. linen. Uh, nice and drapey, great yarn. Yep. It's fabulous. So yeah. anyway. Uh, so do you like to knit with wool in the in the summertime? Of course not Aaron weight wool. <laughs> no. I mean, it's funny because um, who was it? Joan Forgione is designing a pattern. Oh, I saw that. And she's using fingering weight yarn. Yep. And she was saying how some people don't like to knit with fingering weight yarn, not because of the not because of how it feels, but because it's a fingering weight. Right, it's going to take too long. It's going to take too long. Yeah. And I personally I love knitting on fingering weight. Yeah. I think it's my favorite weight to knit on. I agree with that. Yes, you get speedier results maybe with a worsted weight yarn, but correct the wearability of a fingering weight sweater right. for me is even, everything. Even in the winter time, I, I find love it that too. even the DK sweaters are too sometimes too heavy for me to wear in the winter time. Depending, I think of it course. depends. Like depends I on where can't you wear live. my really like my. Oh, what's that one that's that we made out of the uh, forge? The cuffle. The cuffle. It has to be cooler it has to, be cool to wear for that. that. Right. Yeah, it has to be cool. I for find that. that like that's not a sweater that I would necessarily. It's funny. I wouldn't necessarily wear it to work, but I wear it when I'm like outdoors. If I'm going to Correct. the city with a Correct. coat over. Correct. So it depends on where where I am. But for yeah. indoors, right. it could be hard for me to wear something like that. Right. I agree. But anyway, I do need to go. And that is that is it for now. I think you've got a lot to digest. We covered a lot. We covered a lot, exactly. I think it was a great podcast. It's time to go home and do some knitting after yes. we. If I, well, I need to reflect on let's all have our some dinner making. first, <laughs> and all the decision making. That's <laughs> what do you mean? Ahead of us, if you should, which tea oh. should I do the knas? Light? I think the decision. I, the I think the tech? decision is not necessarily which tea, but what yarn should you make for the teas you would like to make, or which one should I cast on first? Yeah, that's a decision. There you go. Well, in any event, regardless of stuff. what you do, um, enjoy it. If you're interested in doing any of the Zoom knit-alongs with us, just hop on. Um, just to refresh, there are kits for the Sylph. There are kits for the Garden. There are kits for the Neela. There are kits for, what else is there? Neela, Did I Sylph, say Sylph, and Garden, Cardigan. Okay, and the Crochet in May, there are no kits up for that yet. Right, so stay tuned. So stay tuned for that. But certainly... Um, if you're interested in any of that, you know, there'll be more. Where are we going to put the date information about that? They're going to be in the under classes, the tab on the website, right. classes. You'll see everything there. There you go. All right. Take care, everyone. Happy Have a great knitting. Night. See you soon. Bye.